Training camp starts Friday, and I've said this before, no NFL team begins the season with a deeper or more talented roster than the Saints. And on that roster, there are several guys that are irreplaceable. So now my five most indispensable Saints, not the five best players, but the five that you can't do without. And actually, I think one through four are no-brainers. The debate comes at five. I strongly considered Marshawn Lattimore and Demario Davis, but I think the Saints are deep enough at their positions to maybe cover their absences, but they're both great players. So I'm going with Ryan Ramchek at number five. First of all, Ramchek's been a terrific player entering his third season. He should be able to take a step forward. He's also been a rock. He rested in week 16 last year, but otherwise, he started 35 out of 35 regular season and playoff games in his two years, and the Saints need that. They start camp with six linemen that look like they're capable of being quality starters. My guess is Nick East and becomes your sixth man, but you're going to need at least six. Last year, Andres Pete played 70% of Saints' offensive snaps, and Teron Armstead played 57%. You're going to have to move guys around. Ramchek has been your rock. Number four, Alvin Kamara. Latavius Murray is a good player. Kamara is a great player. If you said you could have any running back in the NFL this season, I would actually consider Saquon Barkley and Ezekiel Elliott, and then I would take Alvin Kamara. He's that unique. Good inside the tackles, great in the passing game, and the drop-off after Kamara is huge. And you could say the same thing about Mike Thomas. And given the new Saints offense with a lot more quicker passes, Thomas is perfectly suited for it. I put Cam Jordan at number two because when opposing teams sit down to figure out how to move the ball against the Saints, they have to start with Cam Jordan. He's tremendously disruptive and his motor never stops. And on a defensive line with Sheldon Rankins recovering from an Achilles injury and an un unproven Marcus Davenport on the other edge, Cam Jordan must continue to dominate, and that guy is still obviously number one. But here's the thing. The Saints don't need the 2011 version of Drew Brees to win. The 2018 version will do. To me, 2011 was number nine Zenith. That was his apex. His numbers were absurd, but notice the difference with last year's numbers. In 2011, he threw a lot more passes for a lot more yards and a lot more touchdowns, but last year, Drew Brees actually had a better completion percentage and significantly fewer interceptions. The 2018 version of Drew Brees is absolutely still the linchpin in the Saints Super Bowl hopes. And we are back with more in a minute.